Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Oakville Salvation Army Thrift Store right on Kerr Street. Interesting and very nice dis store, uh, store window display on the street. Uh, we'll see a lot of interesting things just inside on the on the inside of the store as well. These are still on the outside. These are showcase windows. It's a slightly different view of the previous one. It's a sailboat and a, an apple all in one. Some uh, electric guitar with an amplifier and so on. And here we are entering. Now this one's a little different from my previous last year's videos in that I've uh, been able to do a movement stabilizer. This is an interesting old style, I think it's a tube radio. I'm not going to commit myself fully to that. It, somebody may have removed all of the finish on it, but for 350, I'd hope it'd be at least a, a, a real tube type radio. There's a pair of these uh, images framed up, and there's one slightly in front of the other one. And uh, there, you got a pairing if you need them. There we are upstairs. This is in between the entrance and the exit. The exit has the cache at it. We're going to see the cache area, and we'll see a little bit more shortly. The uh, children's clothing. And there we're headed over to the cache area. Some fab finds, the back of the cache there. And they've got a little bit of jewelry they've got in this counter. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. As we continue into the store, we've, we're going through the men's shirts, sweaters, so on. There's a bit of a... Eh, could be a business shirt for Hawaiian area, as could that one. The Soto brand. Another DeSoto, $9.99, I believe. Uh, some of the shoe selection they have, it's along the wall. We're headed towards the rear, that's the rear right there. There's stairs at the back wall at that location. But we're going back over to the shirts in this case, but not the same aisle. The first batch were long sleeve, I think. <clears throat> they're shorts, they're still long sleeves. Now there's a decent looking one. Eaton, $9.99. And here we see it. I think it's still a short sleeve, but I do like that design. On top of these the racks, they also had some other interesting things, such as this model of this of uh, some Star Trek components. Those were Fab Find, and the DVD trivia game Coronation Street was also available in a tin box, and some 
decor that would catch the eye. And an uh, interesting map. Board game I hadn't seen before. I'm not saying it's, it hasn't been around, I just hadn't seen it. And some other artwork that they had. I think this would have been a, 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 a doll swing for a pair of dolls. Or up to a pair of dolls. Here we are, we're about to head downstairs. There's the galloping ghosts. Some more artwork, some books along the way. And here we go. We got down to the bottom of the stairs. The raw video is very jumpy there. And we're into the miscellaneous first off. And then we have glassware on this side. travel mugs and so on more more glassware but larger pieces mugs and cups some more mugs but they're in glass as well they've grouped them like color of, as they usually do at uh, Salvation Army thrift stores some small appliances of a variety of sorts This one, the way it was boxed was odd. So, sure, we'll tr turn it over. And it's one of those warming trays, but it can handle three different pots. Uh, seven bucks, it's okay. If that's your, your thing, to do a 50s, early 60s uh, house party. Probably work nicely with a smorgasbord setup for nibbles that are kept warm for including a perhaps a pot of coffee. Yeah, so here you see the grouped colors. This is the basement. The basement portion of the store is far larger than the main street level portion is. We always take a peek in some of these wooden boxes. Westwood Avenue has a uh, an interest in in them. Somebody didn't use up all of their components of their <clears throat> water smart home. So here in the basement, they've got a globe on a, on its own stand. Not a bad looking one. helps if you like historic globes because this one includes the USSR which means that there's a lot of other changes that have happened it's not a terrible price for the size of globe and stand that, it, that comes with it there's not a lot of meat left on it though depending on who your buyers are <coughs> Uh, it's a Motorola device of some sort. I can't remember what it is. I didn't pick it up. Not much of anything uh, connects to it, though. Just some plugs on the backside, I think. Some other electronics. And they were bringing some more into the general area. number of speakers printers and then they have the recorded material whether it's a DVD or so on and those are some of the ceramics 
but these items are cheek by jowl as far as the aisles, so we just went back and forth through them, trying to avoid other folks that were shopping at the time. They even had a bicycle. I think it was a 16 inch wheel. There was some more artwork at this level. There's some vintage kitchenware there. And then you've got uh, some more artwork, including the, the infamous four. They, they were quite the scene in Las Vegas at the time, apparently. So they had a little bit of a, an aisle section, and then you, it opened up into another s smaller room, but it was, it was another room. The other part of the, this side of the basement was being used by the staff for uh, prepping, pricing, and that kind of stuff. Yes, they had some luggage. And the children's outerwear was there. And they were, we were getting close enough to Christmas to start seeing those items. And this saddle. You'll see some stills of it in a moment. <clears throat> I use this in the splash page, as you may have noticed. Um, it's not an enormous one. I'm thinking it's possibly for a pony or something of that nature. And then the LPs. You don't have to be Jewish. It's 1974. Oh, that's cha-cha. That would take you back to the 50s. Uh, yep, you'll find sometimes they have a, a flat screen TV. May not be the biggest or the largest, or with most of the new uh, features. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'd appreciate a, a subscribe and a like, and maybe even a tinkle of the bell so you know when the next video is out. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye.